for UTS workspace. Start it. You can go here and see how to install it. You just have to follow these steps, what they have shown you here. So, so please uh, don't try to access um, workspace through the web. I mean, you won't be able to access your files. So rather than that, access, install it. Install the workspace in your computers. Uh, you can install it in both Mac and PC. So it'll help you. So one of the things that you got to do while doing your workspaces, go to your settings, both in PC and Mac. There's a file called sharing. And add the folders on where you want to share your files or where, you, where your files are. That's, that's These folders are of your local computer. So mm, these folders will have all your files that you want to use in your workspace. You can even save, you can even save your files to your local computer using that. So, Click share, click add, and mm, select which folder you want to save your data in or select the folder where your data is present. So that'll help you out. So once you do that, you can open LabVIEW. I'll already open that. So in the beginning, it might be a little slow, but once, once you install it, once it starts running for the first time, it's going to pick up the speed. So if I go to read to measurement files, if I press read files, so if I click this PC, I can see all my disks that I've chosen. So these are all my folders. So this is my desktop, this is my documents folder, and this is my root folder. So if I press desktop, I can actually see all my desktop folders in workspace. And you can get all your files from there. Or if that doesn't work, you can go to networks and click on it, EC client, and still you can see all your folders. So that's the way of using your workspace. If you have any problem using workspace, just let me know whether it's Mac or PC. I've, I've tried it in both Mac and PC and it was working. There wasn't issues at all. So uh, your wavelets and all the toolboxes are already installed in the workspace. So that makes things easier for you. You don't have to download anything uh, extra. Uh, so now I'm going to show you how to use wavelet in, uh, wavelet in LabVIEW. So, Similarly, like before, um, sorry, similarly, like before, you got to read from measurement files. So I'll just open a new one. Over here. Okay, control T. Same thing again. So read from measurement files. Okay, now I'm going to select my CSV file that I kept it in my desktop. So I'm going to do that. Um, so most of your files that you download from PC or Net will be in P CSV. And once you do that, read as generic text. Sorry, it should not be at LVM. So yeah, once it's CSV, you can press OK. So I'm not going to do the filtering or anything for now because of lack of time. Um, uh, I, you sh but you, you should make sure that you do all those processes before you do your wavelets and all those things. If that's necessary, you have to do it. So uh, another thing that you got to do is that there is no time component in my signal. So what you got to do is that go to waveform. Okay. And you got to extend that down. So Y is your signal. Click on attributes and click DT. So DT is the time component. So, so you get the time component from your frequency. So that's create constant. So the sampling rate is 500. So time is one by FS. So one by 500 is 0 0.002. And that's my waveform. Cool. Now, once you're done with this, you can search for Continuous wavelet transformed. Uh, or you can go to signal processing, wavelets, continuous wavelet, yeah, and wavelet transform. Set in your signal inside there. And let's say wavelet type. So let's create a constant. So let, I'm going to choose uh, bio 1.3. So you got to choose this based on 
your signal, uh, you got to do a literature review and see what's the best way that fits your signal. That's what you do. Good. So our time steps is 0 0.02. And you can put your scaling factor there. So I'm going to create a control. Just going to put it as one for now. And yeah, once that is done, you got to search for something called VI server. You should get that. Okay. And once you've done that, you got to also create something to the uh, block and create an intensity graph. Okay. Double click on your reference and choose the intensity graph. Okay, and apply it to, sorry. And then you got to go to signal processing, uh, wavelet analysis, and you got to go to utilities and configure kilogram. Choose that. And the input they'll ask you for CWT coefficients. Connect that. Connect your scale info. And connect that to your scalogram indicator. And let's see. Connect it, and there you go to your CWD. So this is this was something of blinking of eye, and wait, I'll just extend that. So you should get similar results in your MATLAB as well if you use the same signal. So when I was blinking my eyes, you can see that's why the red. So if you change the scale EEG parameters, signal, this, right? huh? This is for EEG signal. Yeah, this is for EEG. Okay. Yeah. So this is when the person was blinking. Yeah. So that's for CWT. Now for DWT, same thing. Again, signal processing. You can go to your wavelet analysis. And there is wavelet. I'm sorry about that. Continuous wavelet. Wavelet T noise. Or there you can choose the type of that. That's DWT. You can choose the number of levels. Let's say five. Again, I'm going to choose bio. 3.1, you can keep the rest just as it, as like that and connect it to the waveform. And if so for students uh, needed to uh, compare with different wavelengths and a different uh, uh, level. And the yeah, they, you, you, can, you, you, you can do that. You can choose a different, you can choose different type of wavelet. You can yeah. choose the type of wavelet that you want. So the good thing for wavelet is lots of options, but the, at the same time, it's quite uh, difficult to the optimal uh, yeah, parameters. So, yeah. so I can I can take TV two, so you can see how it changes. So it because it's the waveform pattern changes. That's that depends on your signal. So I'm going to connect it here, and should be able to see your the the filtered EEG signal. So the denoise signal using wavelets. So the top one is CWT and the top is DWT. Yeah. Any questions? Anyone? Anything that you want to know? Or you could let me know in your break rooms. Yeah. Thanks. Steven. Yeah. I'll, I'll give you the uh, Okay. So do you want to do something about uh, MATLAB as well? Oh, okay. Jeff, uh, oh, Kari, who wants to do the next for the, maybe, yeah. uh, yeah, I'll make Kyrie the host. Uh, do you want me to show the MATLAB as well? Or? Yeah, yeah, quickly uh, show the MATLAB. Okay.